You have to believe that you're going to become successful because if you don't believe that you're going to become successful, I can 100% guarantee that you're not going to become successful. There's a book called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind. And without giving away what happens in the book, there's one small story in the book that talks about this guy who saw his dad get very sick. His dad was essentially near his deathbed. He kept getting sicker and sicker and sicker. But his dad was a very devoted Christian. He was very religious. And so he went out and he found this disciple of Jesus, somebody who knew Jesus, and he had a piece of the original Jesus cross, the actual cross, and it was on a ring. And he took this home to his dad and he said, Dad, I found this holy person. He had a piece of the Jesus cross. He says that if you meditate on this, if you touch it, you're going to get better. And that's what his dad did. He touched the cross. He believed wholeheartedly that he was going to get better. And he did begin to get better. Then the story goes that his dad lived a long life and eventually passed away. And then it became public that he didn't actually meet any holy person. He just went to the street, found a random piece of wood, put it in a ring, and he told his dad the story because he knew that his dad would believe it and it would change his dad's mindset as to whether he would get better or not. Your mindset is very powerful. Now, whether or not you want to believe the story, that's fine. But the whole idea here is the power of dumb belief because I have experienced that myself. When I was 16, 17, 18 years old trying to get started as an entrepreneur, I had a lot of dumb belief that I was going to become successful. How was I going to do it? I had no idea. How was I going to get there? I had no idea. What did I need to learn? I had no idea. I didn't grow up with any sort of entrepreneurship education. I didn't grow up with any sort of financial education. I was told to stay away from these things. And so everything that I did that was entrepreneurial, that was related to investments, was all done in secret because I was supposed to be a doctor. My parents told me from the day that I could start talking that I needed to become a doctor when I got older. And they were so serious about this that when I was in middle school, I was 12 years old. I was like in eighth grade. My parents got me an MCAT tutor to help me get into medical school. So when I go to college, I'll be more than ready to get into medical school. So I had no other option. I was not supposed to do anything that was not related to becoming a doctor. So I didn't know anything about entrepreneurship or business or investing or money or any of that stuff. I had to go out and learn it myself. And I had to do this all in secret. In addition to doing all my pre-med stuff to get ready to go to medical school, because at the time I thought I was going to go to medical school, but I was able to figure it out. Why? Because I had a lot of dumb belief. And because I had that dumb belief, I had that mindset, I was willing to go and learn this skill because I had none of this skill. I didn't know how to start a business. I didn't know how to sell anything. I didn't know how to market. I didn't even know what marketing was. I didn't know how to make YouTube videos. I didn't know how to build a product. I don't know how to build a sales funnel. All these things were completely foreign to me. Not just that, I didn't know what investing was. I had never heard of the term dividends or stocks or real estate investing. I didn't know any real estate investors. So I had none of this. But what I did have, was this. I knew that I wanted to become successful. I knew that I was going to become successful. How? I didn't know. But I knew that I had this. I was a hard worker. I used to listen to an audio book. Well, it wasn't an audio book. It was an audio CD by Eric Thomas. He's known as E.T. And he had this CD back in the day called The Blueprint to Success. And it was a motivational tape CD where he talked about his life journey, how he went from being homeless to now being one of the top motivational speakers in the world. And I listened to that CD so many times that I had memorized every single word in that CD. And one of the concepts, the main concept was to work. Because if you know how to work hard, you can shorten your span to achieving whatever it is that you want to do, right? Because if you're working hard, you can get to wherever you want to go quicker. Your hard work is much more beneficial when you work smart but your hard work will help you get to wherever you want to go quicker as long as you're willing to put in the work and stop doing a whole bunch of things that don't matter in your life. And that book really, or the audio CD, really helped me build my drive and I was willing to work hard. But again, hard work by itself is not going to make you successful. But if you incorporate this drive into your skill, where now you're working hard to learn things, to make mistakes, to do things wrong, now you can amplify how fast you learn these skills because these skills are developed not just through watching YouTube videos and reading books and buying classes. All those things are good and they're very helpful to help you develop your skills. But the best skills that you can develop are by going out and doing it and failing. You cannot bypass the experience side of the skill. And all the mistakes that I've made, all the failures that I've had, all the expensive mistakes that I've made because I have made some extremely expensive mistakes in my investments, in my business, all these things are my real life tuition to learn how to be better at what I do. 
And so you have to be willing to invest in the skill, whether it's starting with your time, because if you don't have a ton of money, you don't want to go out and lose everything that you don't have on an investment or business idea. Start by watching YouTube videos, then start investing in books, then start buying classes. All these things will then set you up to go out and actually do something because you don't want to get into this just content consumption game where all you're doing is consuming content and you're really good at consuming content. You've read every book, you've listened to every podcast, you've watched every YouTube video and you've bought every class but you haven't built any business. At some point you got to go out and actually do it even if you don't feel like you're ready and just start and fail and screw up because that's how you're going to learn. Once you start making a dollar doing whatever it is you want to do, that's how you're going to learn. Understanding this is the first thing that you got to do if you want to become successful. Because if you're not happy with the amount of money you're making, you are lacking either here, here, or here. And you got to be honest with yourself and see where you're lacking. And if you say, but Jaspreet, I think I have all three. Well, if you're not happy with the money you make, you're not here. You're lacking either here, here, or here. And you got to figure out where that is. And you got to be honest with yourself because you have room for improvement. And you got to see where it is that you can improve. Maybe you're not thinking big enough. Maybe you don't know how to monetize your skills well enough. Maybe you're not working hard enough. You got to figure out where it is that you're lacking. That way now you can move on to the second thing that will help you get to where you want to go financially. Now, if you do want to stay up to date on how to be a better business person, if you are an entrepreneur, if you're a CEO, if you're the founder of a company, I created a free newsletter called Business Briefs, where every day my team is breaking down what's happening in the business economic world. This is things like what's happening with funding, what's going on with funding trends, what's going on in the creator economy, how are things changing in the marketing side of the world, how are things changing in terms of the business news and trends and innovation. We cover all the things going on in the business world, the entrepreneurial world, the founder world, the things that you need to be aware of. That way you can be a better business business owner. So if you're a business owner, it's a free resource that I created. And if you want to join business briefs for free, I got the link to hike and join down in the description below. If you enjoyed this short clip from my longer videos, here's another clip that I think you'll love. And while you're at it, if you're interested in learning more about how to start generating passive income, our team put together an amazing guide on how to start generating passive income for free. All you got to do is click that button right over there. Thank you for watching. And as always, keep hustling.